The truth is, I would teach you how this trick works, but I don't know how it works. Simon Aronson was just a prolific creator and definitely one of my favorites, if not my all-time favorite uh, creator of all time. Every method that he comes up with is just so mind-boggling. It just, they, they fool me every time, even, even when I do it myself, even when I know the method. Imagine how a layman would feel. The trick I'm talking about is Moves and Removes by Simon Aronson out of his book, Simply Simon. Now this book was written in 1995 before smartphones were really a thing. All right, so I wanna read you just a little thing, a little sentence in this book, uh, what Simon Aronson wrote. It says, my version is certainly open to such technology. Indeed, I've even played with a computer version myself. Imagine Simon Aronson just lugging around a giant desktop computer everywhere he went just to do this trick. Um, what he did instead, he had a little flip book of instructions that he just carried around in his pocket. So what I've done to this trick is I've taken his, his advice with the computer and just uh, did it with my smartphone, my iPhone. I've simply made a digital flip book that anyone can carry on their phone anytime they want to do this trick. And this is what it looks like, all right? So it's, the trick is called moves and removes and you just have a set of instructions on your phone anytime, anywhere that just sits in your camera roll in a folder. So in a minute, I will perform this trick for you. And if you like the trick, I've provided a link down below to where you can save all of these images and put them into your own folder on your phone. Let's get into it. All right, so I want to show you how to play a game called Moves and Removes. Um, basically, it's a game that you play by yourself, and it's sort of like Solitaire. However, uh, unlike Solitaire, you have more chances to win. So this game is really geared toward making you uh, feel better about yourself. All right, so now, uh, by the end of this, if you do win, uh, you get to keep uh, the contents of this mystery box that I have right here. All right, so like I said, the, the game is called Moves and Removes, and the rules are very simple. All right, from a shuffle deck, uh, deal nine cards face up in a tic-tac-toe formation all right so nine cards that's uh, so one two three four five six seven eight nine cards tic-tac-toe uh, configuration all right so now uh, the rules are simple you can move up and down left to right uh, as you please however you cannot move diagonally or skip card you can't all right you can't jump cards all right so from time to time, you'll be asked to remove a card. If at any time the marker is on that card, uh, you're removing, you, you win the game, all right? So say, for instance, you, you remove the Ten of Spades. If your marker is on that card, you win the game, all right? So, or whatever. Now, place the marker on any card. We'll just use the mystery box as a marker, all right? So any card you want, place it uh, right on there, all right? So maybe they go for the, the Six of Hearts in this case, all right? So now... Let's see. Spell the full name of whatever card the marker was on, making it a move for each letter. All right. So we're on the six of hearts. So we just make a move for each letter of six of hearts. All right. So pretty easy to do. We just go S I X O F H E A R T S. All right. So the next thing we do is here's your first chance to win. Remove the lowest card. If the marker is on that card, you've won. In this case, it would be the two. Oh, we were one card off, we almost won. Maybe uh, we have another chance to win. Let, let's see what we can do. Now, move an equal number of times as the first digit of your phone number, all right? So in this case, mine would be a seven, so I would move seven times, all right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven all right so now move again a number equal to the value of the card that you're on all right so in this case i'm on a 10 i would move uh 10 card or 10 times all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so now remove any picture card all right so we got uh, the jack and we got the king ah, dang it we didn't win yet but it says here, if you haven't won yet, have hope. You've still got plenty of chances, all right? So I think we'll win on this one. I, th I honestly do. So for your next move, spell the color of the card that you're on. In this case, uh, we're on a black card, so we just spell black, all right? So that's B-L-A-C-K, all right? So now look to see which color has fewer cards remaining and remove those cards, all right? So the color with fewer cards, that would be red here. So we remove those cards. Ah, one card off again. Uh, we didn't win that time. 
Hopefully we do. I, I, I think I made, made something wrong. I don't know. But now, now spell your first name making a move for each letter, or you can simply use any name that you want, all right? So I think we'll just go with my first name, which is Sean. So that's S-E-A-N, all right? So now, for your next move, count the value of whatever card you're on, or you can spell the suit. So we can either move three times or spell clubs for the three clubs, all right? So I think this, in this case, we'll just uh, move three times, all right? So one, two, and three. All right, so now look to see which suit has the lowest card. Remove any card of that suit. All right, so in this case, our lowest card would be uh, the three clubs, and there's the seven of clubs, so we can remove either the seven or the three. Uh, let's just remove, I don't know, maybe the seven. All right, so, uh, well, we haven't won yet. We'll see how this goes. I'm getting kind of nervous here. Um, now, move an equal number of times as the lowest remaining card. All right, so that would be uh, three. So we'll move three times, all right? One, two, three. All right, so that's kind of, kind of weird. Um, now, this time, remove the highest card. All right, in this case, it would be a 10. Again, it's always one card off. We're getting so close. Now, spell the color of the card that you're on. A black card, so B-L-A-C-K. All right, so, dang it. This time, remove the lowest card. <laughs> well, we uh, every card that we uh, took away, it wasn't the card that we were on, so I guess we didn't win. That kind of sucks, but, uh, oh, here we go. Here's your last chance to win. You can win automatically unless I can correctly guess your card. All right, so if this guesses the eight of spades, then um, correctly, then we lose. But if they're wrong, then we win. All right, so your card is a red diamond, an odd number. Actually, they were wrong three times because it's not a red card, it's not a diamond, and it's not an odd number. So I guess they win. I guess the person wins who play who's playing this game. But uh, I did tell you if you won, which you did, you get to keep whatever is inside of this mystery box. So uh, please open your prize and show it all around. See, show everyone what you got. Uh, in this case, we have uh, it's a card, and it's actually the uh, the eight of spades. <laughs> Now, like I said in the beginning, normally I would teach you how this works, but like I said, I don't know how it works, but if you follow everything I just did with those photos that I provided uh, with these exact same cards, it'll work every time. All right, so that is uh, kind of a, a, a tutorial, I guess, but um, use, it, uh, use it wisely. It's a very fun trick to do. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And if you got value out of it, if you learned something new, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.